Hey everyone, so um, I'm going to sound quite sick during the duration of this film and that's just because I've got this awful head cold. But today is the start of a new series where I take DIY Pinterests and I see how easy they actually are to do. So to start with today, I'm going to do the DIY pillow boxes and for this you'll need empty toilet paper tubes some coloured paper. Now I didn't have any baker's twine so I've just got some ribbon and you'll also need scissors and some glue. So I have never tried this before so this could be a horrible disaster or it could go quite well and we will find out together. So step one is to flatten the toilet paper tube and press the press press the creases on either side flat. Let the tube pop back open slightly, then push the top of the tube down in towards the middle so that it creates a rounded fold. Well, they've made that sound simple. So, fold in half. I'm going to go and shut the window in case you can actually hear the helicopter. Um, like, oh. The planes and the helicopters around here have been intense recently. I live around the corner from an airfield, and um, yeah, they've just been a whole new experience recently. This is fold the what? Okay, so that rounded fold thing that they made sound really easy is actually really difficult. Um, so that's what my first attempt has come out like. <laughs> Not really what they look like in the diagrams, but that's okay. And then how do we do the bottom? Pushing the other side of the same way to close off one end of the tube, then repeat at the other end. Bring out those bells to ride Bethlehem, Bethlehem Follow that star tonight It's not even December and the radios around where I live are playing Christmas music. So I can only apologise for the perverse amount of whoopsies Christmas songs that I have going around and around and around and around my head. That's that bit. Cut off a six inch. So I'm going to need a ruler as well. A six inch by one and a half inch strip of paper and glue it round the centre of the pillow box. Um, and for this first one I'm going to use orange because this is not going to be anything like what it should actually look like. Six inches. Uh, ten. That'll do. Six inch by one and a half inch. And I don't know who still works in inches, but I've, I've not worked in inches in about four years or something silly. So this is really kind of quite taxing for my brain. And yeah, the other thing about having a cold is I constantly got what can only be described as the sniffles <laughs> so yeah and then carefully cut this out remembering not to cut off your fingers I have done projects like this many times and each time I inevitably cut part of my hand. Um, oh, that was two sheets of paper. So I've got two strips. Then, what do we do with the strip? And glue it around the centre of the pillow box. Glue. Ooh, okay. 
glue clearly hasn't been used in a long, long time. Oops. Other way. Um, around the centre of the box. Way. Like so. Well, that didn't go all the way around my box. My box is clearly bigger than the six and a half inches, six inches, that what it should have been. So I've got a little gap. So I know for next time that it needs to be six and a half inches by five and a half inches. Um, fill the pillow box with stuff. What stuff have I got that I can put in it to give it some sort of shape? Hairpins. I've got loads of these. That's probably enough hairpins just to give it weight and consistency. Um, also the rattle, funny. And then you tie it up with the ribbon or your baker's twine. Oh, oh well this is going well, isn't it? Bethlehem, Bethlehem, follow that star tonight. Here we go. Bethlehem. in a pretty bow. Um, now I understand why they use baker's twine because you won't have the um, it won't um, uh, flip over and look funny and not lie flat and all those other things that someone with a bit of an OCD hates when it comes to ribbon. <laughs> Just get the ribbon lengths in. Cut them off at a jaunty angle. And there you have a recycled toilet roll pillowcase. I'm going to have another go and see if I can get this edge better because that's the only thing that's holding this down is the fact that these ends aren't very neat and it looks like a toilet roll. Um, other than that, I think the method is sound. It's just a case of learning how to do it. So I'm going to have a, another go.